Hi, this is Race, and I'm here today to share with you the latest innovations from Aruba. Today, Aruba is introducing some interesting enhancements to Aruba's operating system, Aruba OS 8, the brain of the network that runs on all Aruba controllers. By just upgrading your existing Aruba controllers to Aruba OS 8, you can benefit from simplified operations, better visibility, and an improved mobile user experience. Peter Lane, Director of Product Management for Aruba, is here with me today so we can get a closer look at this new operating system. Thanks, Rhys. So, the first thing our customers are going to notice is the brand new UI we've built. We spent a lot of time simplifying it and modernizing it. It used to take four or five hours to kind of come up to speed, learn the system, be able to create a network. Now I can probably teach you to do it in four or five minutes. Oh, wow. That's huge. Uh, we're saving a ton of time there. Now, can you run me through this uh, new dashboard in a little bit more detail? Definitely. So here's the new screen. Um, the big thing that we've changed is the navigation system. So where you used to have profiles that were inherited and hard to move and really hard to understand, we now have a simple hierarchy. So I have the managed network that has a corp folder, a retail folder, and a warehouse folder. This particular case is a retail customer that has a corporate headquarters, stores, and then warehouses. So they've divided them up separately so they can have different configurations in each. Now, to show some of that, I can actually click in and say, add a guest network to the retail stores. So I've clicked into retail. I'm going to go over to the configuration screens, and we're going to add a new WLAN for it. So we're going to come in. We'll call this Megacorp Guest, and we'll say that it's a guest network. By doing that, it affects some of the security options that we're going to see. So guest network, choose the VLAN I want. I can come in and build new VLANs if needed, but I'll use the default that's in there. And then I can define my security. Since this is a guest network, it's not going to ask me much about encryption. It's assuming that it's an open network with some captive portals. And then on the access side, I can now choose the role that the users are going to be put in. These are the firewall rules that will apply to that type of user. And it really decides what applications they can see and what they can do. So I can come in and go to roles, and I can edit the guest role, because I've decided I don't want my guests running BitTorrent. So I can come in, search for BitTorrent, and basically shut off any peer-to-peer -peer BitTorrent movie streaming kind of thing that they might be stealing. So you see default action is deny. I hit OK, and it's now blocked. So now that I've hit finished, we've created a new WLAN for all the retail sites. I'm going to apply my changes. And now you can see for retail, we have additional WLANs. So I now have my Megacorp guests. But if I go over to warehouse or even to corp, I still have the standard Megacorp. So what this is doing is it's allowing me to simply customize individual areas for whatever settings are needed. Can we switch gears a bit and talk about a new feature that's being introduced in Aruba OS 8? Can you tell me about centralized licensing with Pool? What enhancements have been made? Sure. So centralized licensing has been a feature we've had for a while. But essentially, you get one place to put all your licenses. So you pull, roll them all up on your master controller, and every department within a company uses the same set of licenses. What we found is some of our customers run their IT shops more like a service provider, where retail has to come in and say, I need 50 licenses, and retail has to pay for them. If Corp needs 100, they have to come and pay for them as well. So within the system, we've extended it. We still have the old centralized licensing, where if you go up to the licensing screen, you can have a global license pool that everyone pulls from. So this is kind of the shared resource if you want to go with that model. But if you want more details, I can come in and say that retail should have its own pool, because they need to purchase their own licenses. So I can enable a centralized licensing pool. I can apply, say, 100 licenses to retail, however many they've purchased. Once I've done that, those licenses are going to get pulled out of the global pool. And so now no one else will be able to use them. They're going to be saved completely for retail who paid for them. So as you see, the global pool is now shifted to 380 for the AP license. And I've already done this in the past for the corp license pool. They've had 20 that they've purchased, and right now they're using one of them. So it allows you to really carve up who has access to what based on what they paid for. Now, with all that traffic on the network, I can imagine that providing a great user experience then becomes a challenge. Is there anything you can show me to help fix that problem? Definitely. We talked a little bit about AppRF earlier, um, where you can come in and manage the applications that a user can get access to. In addition to denying them, you can apply quality of service. So we can come in and say Microsoft Skype is a high priority application. So any voice or video running across your network will perform very well. With AOS 8, the big thing that we've introduced is the ability to have custom applications built. 
So I'm going to go into the dashboard, and I'm going to show you the traffic analysis screen. So these are all the applications that are running through. So I can see someone's pulling an IAM file transfer, taking up a bunch of data. But I can also see there's an application here called Airwave. So that's an application we build, and we've built out a custom definition to classify it. So I can now get a feel for how much of its traffic is running through the network. So not only do I get visibility into how a custom application is affecting the network, I can block it, not likely if it's something you've built, but I can also apply quality of service to it to make sure it has the highest priority on the network and that my critical applications are always flowing smoothly. We've only covered a few of the innovations that you can get with an easy upgrade to Aruba OS 8. Thanks for joining us today, and don't forget to upgrade to Aruba OS 8. To learn more, go to arubanetworks.com.